two bedrooms, a convenience and a courtyard to her name. This woman gives us a tour of a new home at the Aono Resettlement Village, which has about 500 houses. Typically, houses like this cost between 150,000 to 200,000 naira to rent in the capital city. But the government is allocating them to internally displaced persons free, and over 300,000 households are beneficiaries. Government intends to relocate people of Abadan local government and Mobar to Aunu and Damasak because this is due to the fact that uh, government wants to start academic activities in Mogali's camp. And that is why it is now the intention of the government to return them here to Aunu and to Damasak so that people can now start their farming activities and other visitors' activities. Then academic activities will now fully resume in Mogali's camp, uh, Mogali's uh, school. <laughs> temporary shelters taken down. With their mother's belongings acquired in six years since their displacement, they vacate the camp. There are at least 12 official IDP camps in Maiduguri, the Borno state capital. The government intends to shut them and integrate the affected population. But two local governments remain inaccessible to civilians. Indigenous of war-affected areas must now start life in a more secure place. Up to now, no any single settlement in Abadam local government. And that's the reason the North East Development Commission is building 10,000 homes across Borno State. The plan is to provide durable solutions and permanent shelter for the IDPs. The first 1,000 units is now ready to be occupied. Effort has been made and what very good progress. And uh, this complex or the housing essay will be completed very soon so that the beneficiaries, the IDPs, can move in. You can't have this kind of a big complex without the necessary amenities. Water is critical, light. While there are concerns about vacating the camp for a place other than home, the continued stay in camps is doing harm to cultural norms and values. We observe that uh, it is no longer sustainable to keep them in the camps. Go by day by day, things are becoming difficult. The children orientation, they are losing their identity. A lot of things are having cultural values are diminishing. So we are trying as much as possible to see that we go back to what is obtainable. As internally displaced persons move to permanent shelters, they say they are excited about starting a new life.